channel. It's going to be a Tosh Tidbits vlog Sunday. Get ready with me. We're going to be going to my nephew's birthdays. Two of my nephews are celebrating a birthday today. So I got to get ready for that and figured let me do a get ready with me vlog. I'm going to wash my hair. I have a new shampoo and conditioner I've been using I want to share about that I actually really like. And I also wanted to redo my lashes. So that's kind of a goal for today's video. I did my nails yesterday, by the way. Look at how cute they are. I'm so proud of how far I've come when it comes to doing my nails in terms of like cuticle prep. I know this seems like such a basic nail design of sorts. Well, it's not really designed. This is pretty simple. But I'm really proud of my cuticle prep. I feel like I've come such a long way. I was looking at photos of when I first started, like in 2021 when I was doing Biller in a Bottle. And you know what they say, practice makes perfect. And I'm pretty proud of myself, not gonna lie. So I recently actually switched over to solid shampoo and conditioner. It's something that I've always wanted to try. I was really curious about, but I just never got around to it because I always had other shampoos and conditioners that I was using. So I didn't wanna overdo it and have like all these shampoos and conditioners in my shower. So now that I'm running low on my other ones, I decided to finally get some and these are from Kitsch. How cute are they? I absolutely love, these are so different from other ones that I've seen. I absolutely love their little designs, like little rainbows and then this S right here. So the first thing that I tried was actually this bar right here. This is a bond repair bar and I've actually been using this for quite a few weeks and you use it in place of your regular conditioner once a week. I'm not sure how it's been doing in terms of bond repair because my hair still feels the same. Like it's, you know, it wasn't damaged by any means for me to see a huge difference but I have been liking it so I decided during the Amazon Prime Day sale whatever they had going on to purchase the shampoo and conditioner and they do have a Prime coming up for the Black Friday sale coming up in November so it's like in a month so in a month they'll have the Black Friday sale I think that's the perfect time to start adding things to your list to get them on sale if you're gonna buy something might as well get it on sale so I picked up the rice vinegar shampoo and conditioner this is the shampoo and this is the conditioner super cute looks super cute in your shower as well although that's not the main goal to buy something and I've been using it for a while and I actually really like it, it takes a little bit of time to get used to the shampoo actually lathers really well I was surprised at how well it lathers basically the same as my regular shampoo the only difference is you got you got to like suds it up in your hands or you can paint it onto your hair and do it that way but it suds up and lathers really well the conditioner I would say takes more time to get used to because it doesn't really lather so you kind of I kind of rub it into my palms and then spread it throughout my hair if you have longer hair you can kind of paint it on like this and then just distribute it through your hair and it might feel like there's nothing on your hair but trust me when you wash it out you will feel that your hair is like super silky soft and conditioned and the first time that I used it I really really liked how my hair felt so would recommend and then I also wanted to share a blow dry routine because I have changed just a few products nothing too crazy but I recently bought the Colorwell raise the root spray so my hair right now is very very short and I do have fine and thin hair so this really helps to give me grit texture lift at the roots and I'll show you guys when I use it but first things first I'm gonna pop in the shower and we're gonna wash this hair While my hair is in the hair wrap, I'm going to go ahead and do my makeup. I know I said that I was going to do my lashes, but these can still last a few days. These are the new Lashify Eyeline lashes, and I really like them. They give you that really foxy cat eye lash look. I just recently did a video on it if you guys want to check it out. So I'm going to keep these on and just do my makeup. I got a new concealer from Lancome. It came out with a new foundation for the Tante Dole ultra wear one the Karen glow formula and I have fallen in love with that foundation it's definitely one of my top three it just works so well for my skin in particular I have dry skin and I don't like anything that's too heavy but I still want it to look really nice on the skin I don't want it to age me or anything like that so I've been really liking this as almost like a medium to kind of full coverage and they came out with a concealer to match that so I picked up a concealer as well you can shop Lancome on Amazon I got them through the Amazon beauty program that I work with. Here, let me put on my necklace. I hate taking off and putting on jewelry when I have nails on. I feel like it's such 
a struggle getting that little clasp. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me. I can't imagine nails longer than this. I don't know how you guys do it. Let me know because I'm struggling. Oh, that was actually pretty easy. <laughs> so I'm kind of going to do a lot of Lancome products today. I'm going to start off with the primer. I want my makeup to last. We're going to be outside all day. So I don't always use a primer, but I do like this one. It's very hydrating, but it has kind of like a silicone-y feel to it that almost fills in. It's expensive, but again, I got it because I work with Amazon Beauty. So far, this is the only one that I have in my collection, but I do like it, especially if you have dry skin because it does kind of hydrate, but it also fills in. So we got the primer on, and now I'm going to go in with the foundation. I have mine in shade 240W. If you haven't tried it and you have dry skin or you have more mature, mature skin, and you want a natural finish, your skin still looks like skin, but it has like a medium coverage look to it, I think you will really like it because this kind of delivers all of what I just described. And I know sometimes people are like sketched out to buy stuff from Amazon Beauty and I totally get it because I've had some experiences where a product will come in and it's broken or something like that. But as long as you're buying directly from a brand that sells on Amazon, for example, Lancome does have a storefront that you can shop on Amazon and it will say sold by Lancome or sold by Amazon.com then you should be good so just make sure you're looking at who it is sold by if it's sold by like a third party that means somebody purchased it and is like reselling I am starting to develop more static fine lines which is almost kind of sad to see because I feel like it just means like we're getting older and I'm not against static lines but I feel like we're also bombarded with filters and I am definitely somebody that like, would use Instagram filters but I try not to because I feel like once you get used to using filters and then you take the filter off you start to nitpick yourself a lot more so I've noticed I've been doing that a lot more like I'd see all these images and stuff and I'm like oh my gosh they forehead looks so smooth and I've developed static lines early on so I've just been doing as much as I can to prevent it I do think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I'm probably severely dehydrated and, and just surviving and thriving because I'm always drinking coffee and barely drinking any water that's something I have to work on for sure and I also have very dry skin I've just always naturally had very dry skin so when my skin is supple and hydrated and all that my fine lines are not as severe but they are getting a bit more intense you can't really tell right now because I have like this big old light but if I were under harsh light outside, you definitely see them more. And especially as the foundation sinks into the skin throughout the day and settles and all of that. So I have to be very careful with what products I use. So this foundation right here, it works really well for my skin. And it's not like overdone. My skin still looks like skin. It looks healthy. It's not too glowy where it feels like it's sticky. And it's not too matte. It's basically everything that I look for in a foundation. So that's why I love it. And that's why I decided to try the serum concealer. So when it comes to concealers, I personally veer towards the serum concealers. They just work so much better for my under eyes because if I use something really thick, which I do use once in a while, I have this Boing Cakeless Concealer. This stuff will brighten the daylights out of your under eye and it's just, it gives you like that filter effect where you have those flawless under eyes, but it doesn't wear very well for my skin in particular like I have to be very very careful with those kind of formulas so I always veer towards serum concealers they're just a lot more hydrating they don't really settle into fine lines or emphasize anything and they just give me a healthier look one of my favorites is the NYX bear with me serum concealer this one is very very affordable I also have the original Lancome concealer ultra wear which I do like and the Dior I like both of these and then recently this is a new addition. Oh, my concealers are falling all over the place. This one I have in 105W. And the first thing that I noticed was the Dofa applicator. It has a very interesting, almost like three-pronged camel hoof type applicator. And I don't really like it, I'm being honest, because I feel like I have to keep going back into the bottle to get more concealer. Like it's, I don't know what it is, but like it, the product comes off of it so fast and I have to keep re-dipping. I don't know if it's just me or maybe I'm just a creature habit and I got really used to the other ones, but I'm not crazy about this applicator. I do love the formula of this concealer. I think they did a good job with it, especially if you have dry skin. But at the same time, I do love my NYX Bear With Me, which is a lot more affordable, but I do like these as well. So 
it's just nice to have, I guess, but it's not like a necessity. I'm lucky enough to be able to try these products through Amazon Beauty, like I keep mentioning, which I'm really, really, really grateful to be able to do that and share with you guys. So I do love the formulation. It's very hydrating. It's not super, like it's not going to conceal everything. It's just going to look natural. But if you really want to conceal your under eyes, then this one's not really going to do that. You might have to use something a little bit thicker, but for every day, this one's perfect. This is going to be a long video because I'm doing hair and makeup. For powder, I'm going to use the Slay the Bake Blurring Powder from Gerard Cosmetics. I was perusing Amazon Beauty and I saw that Gerard Cosmetics is on Amazon and I was like, I've never tried their products. I know that it's one of those brands that has been around and was really popular during like 2014 and things like that. But I saw it on Amazon and I was like, you know what? Let me give it a try. And I actually really like it. I like that it's pink. It really helps to brighten up even more. So I'm going to start off on the cheeks and then bring it upward. Because I've noticed right now my skin is a little bit more dry so if I go directly right into the under eye it's gonna be too much powder for my under eyes and it's gonna you're gonna be able to see my fine lines a whole lot more so I just like to go underneath the cheeks over the smile lines and then up into the inner corner and under eye area and bring it up like so this way I'm not applying too much to the under eye because this is where I have a lot of fine fine lines and overdoing it with powder again it's just going to be too much. And then I'll grab a little bit more and set the eye area here. Alright, so I'm going to let that sit there. And I'm going to go in with bronzer. I've been loving the NARS Laguna bronzer. I got this as a sample. Look, I basically hit pan. And I'm going to be so sad when it is all gone. I'm going to definitely have to buy a new one. It has a little bit of shimmer to it, but nothing too intense. I just really like the color. I love how it sits on the skin it's not like too splotchy or anything like that definitely gonna buy a full-size product once this one's up do you see how pretty that looks love this bronzer and i'm just gonna do a little bit on the neck for blush i'm actually gonna use my sigma x angela bright eyeshadow palette and i'm gonna grab a little schmincy bit of the peachy shade here and then a little bit of zinfandel like literally just a smidge it's like a plummy peachy combo. I'm going to quickly do my eyeshadow. Nothing too crazy. I've been loving this palette here from Sigma X Angela Bright, this collab. The shades are absolutely perfect for fall time. So many beautiful shades to work with. I usually use the shade Basic and Schmugula, which are these two right here, which is very, very basic. But I don't really want to overdo it with any eyeshadow today. So I'm just going to go in with those two. Just kind of Hit the brow bone a little bit and then I'll do my waterline with a liner shadow brush to intensify this look. I'm going to grab the shade Cold Brew which is this beautiful mocha chocolate color and this I'm going to apply as like a shadow liner on top and then also the bottom. connect the wing with my lower lash line. Do you see how just a little bit of something made such a big difference in this lash look? And then I usually use a small brush like this and go in with the shade Bright, which I think is such a pretty brightening shade. And I use this for the inner corner. I think, again, I think she did, did such an incredible job with this palette. I would highly recommend it. And I did buy it at Amazon as well. And some of the shades did come in cracked, so I'd probably recommend getting it from Sigma. You could always return. Amazon has a really great return policy. That's one thing that I love. Okay, I'm going to finish my brows off camera. I have a video of how I do my brows currently. It's using the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Pen in the shade Taupe. And then for lips, I'm going to use the Coconut Liner from Amazon with the new Naturium Phyto Lip Gloss Balms. They come in four new shades. I'm going to use the shade Spice, line the lips with coconut, and then use Spice on top. And then we're going to get to the hair. Brows are on. What a difference eyebrows make. But we can finally get to the hair now that my hair has been marinating. The top and the front is pretty dry, and this is when I like to go in and style my hair. So the first thing that I usually start off with is a brow serum. Brow serum hair serum. This one's from Boldify and I really like it. I've tried so many different hair serums in the past. I love the ingredients in this. I love the price. I apply this to the scalp and then just massage it in. You can use this every single day, twice a day for best results. I just use it usually when I wash my hair, which is like every other day or every third day. And then usually I'll go in with a leave-in conditioner. I have a few videos sharing my hair care routine, but I've been foregoing the leave-in conditioner and going in with this Orbe Hair Alchemy Strengthening Serum of sorts. 
and this is kind of like a leave-in conditioner but not really it just fortifies the hair strands but I don't want to use too many leave-in conditioning type products in my hair because my hair is fine and thin so I don't want to weigh it down so this does a pretty good job at fortifying it kind of hydrating it so I skipped the leave-in conditioner and use this currently but I do still highly recommend using a leave-in conditioner if you're not using this okay and then these two products are ones that I use to get maximum volume and lift for my short fine thin hair the color wow root lifter you use at your roots and you can use this on dry hair I actually really like the lift it gives on next day hair when my hair is more flat and limp from sleeping I'll add it to the roots and kind of massage it in it does leave your hair feeling gritty especially by day three if you use it on dry hair you're gonna feel your hair kind of feels a little bit gritty and sticky so you don't want to overdo it but it definitely gives your hair that hold and texture and goodiness that it needs to hold that volume at the roots so if you have really fine limp hair adding in a root lifter is really gonna help I've just been trying out this one I think I'm gonna try the Nexus one next because I came out with one as well so that's on my list but I just kind of want to use up this one first so I'll just apply it to the scalp at the roots I do have two tapins two here and two here just single ones actually I have a single and a half just for a little bit of something I use single-sided tape for these and I do them myself but I have a half one here just one section and then I have a single whole piece here. And on the other side, I use a single sided tape. And then next I'll go in with the Boldify Thickening Spray. This is probably my all time favorite thickening spray because even if you overdo it, it does not make your hair feel sticky or weird. It adds a little bit of volume and fluff to the hair. Your hair still feels very manageable and soft. So this is why I love this one. I used to buy the little ones and now I just buy the big one because this is a staple for me. And this you just spritz all over. I do also have the Color Wow Extra Large Bombshell Volumizer, which is like a very weightless volumizing mousse. And I do use this from time to time, but today I'm not going to use it. And then I'll finish off with an oil. I have this one from Olaplex. I'll just put a few drops in my palms, rub my palms together, and then starting on the ends. I'll concentrate it on the ends and then work my way up and towards the front. That's what I've been doing for hair care products. These two for me are a staple for my short fine thin hair. A root lifting spray and then a thickening spray really helps to give my hair that fluff and volume at the roots. And then now the fun part is blow drying it. I use, here let me actually put this away and get my blow dryer. I use the Shark Flex Style. It's a great all-in-one. really helps to minimize frizz. The only thing is the round brush is quite large. I do think they might have come out with a smaller one. But even the smaller one, it's not small enough like something like this, which you can use with a hair dryer. And a smaller round brush really helps you to get close to the root and give you that lift at the roots. Versus this is going to really give you more of a rounder effect throughout like right here not so much at the roots so pros and cons but this minimizes frizz it's like kind of like one and done kind of situation so i do love the flex style love having it you can use it as a hair dryer with this attachment here the round brush the paddle brush and i do hope that in the future they come out with something like this for us short fine thin hair girlies i'm gonna go ahead and blow dry my hair like i usually do before i get to curling it if i even curl it i'll have to see i might get lazy and just for both the curling. <laughs> the hair all nice and dried and styled is that my neighbor he's vacuuming it's okay we're gonna ignore that but my hair has tons of body and volume but it still feels very very soft and manageable if you want a little bit more grit to your hair I would recommend using the color wow root spray at the roots do not use this all over the hair because your hair is gonna feel gunky and gross just a little bit and it's going to be wet at first but then it dries out and as you're rubbing it in you'll see that it's like developing this grittiness using the sun dry hair helps your hair hold that lift at the roots even more so this is why i love doing a few sprays once my hair is dry especially on second day hair usually i actually just use this on second day hair because the first day my hair has quite a bit of volume but then when you sleep and wake up the next day it's like <laughs> love this on dry hair because i don't have to use hairspray and my hair kind of holds that lift at the roots so 
Pretty good, pretty good. Here's the OOTD, plain black long sleeve. I might put a blazer on top because it's a little bit chilly and it'll get even chillier. Zara jeans, all time favorite Zara jeans. This is the Z1975, 7525, the mom jean. And then some black flats. These are from H&M. I absolutely have been loving flats. They're so comfortable and I think they're really trendy and cute right now. I'm kind of glad they made a comeback. But yeah, this is comfy casual.